Okay, so uh, let's think about stringed instruments now. How could we make a stringed instrument? I happen to have a ukulele here, and uh, you can see it's got strings, obviously. And this part of the ukulele is a resonator. So it allows the sound from the string to be amplified so you can hear it. You can imagine if you didn't have this part and you only had this part, it wouldn't make too much sound. In fact, let me just try something. So I'm gonna stop the strings here and just pluck them here. See, it doesn't, doesn't really sound very good. Uh, whereas if you let the whole string vibrate, you can hear it better because it's resonating here. I don't know if you ever tried this, but like with a music box, if you hold it up, it makes, uh, you know, you can hear the sound, but if you put it on a table, suddenly the sound is bigger because the table is amplifying the sound vibration. So what we need is some kind of box and a string stretched kind of tight. If the strings are loose, they're not gonna make much sound. In fact, I'm gonna take this ukulele here. I'm just loosening one of the strings. So the tighter the string, the higher the pitch, right? Yeah, when it's really loose, it just kind of doesn't sound like much. So let's see what we can find. Okay, I found this box, this plastic kind of Tupperware box, and some rubber bands, which I thought, well, I could probably stretch them pretty tight. I hope they don't break. I don't have too many. <laughs> so I'm just going to stretch it around this box here and see if it makes a sound. I'm going to try a couple of them. Amazing. Oh wow, look what I just discovered. So I put three rubber bands on here and this one, if I pull, if I leave this side where it is and just pull here and kind of redistribute how it's stretched, that's the same rubber band. I loosen it. You can imagine tuning these. Check this out. Okay, I have to work on my technique a little bit, but come on. I better tune that. That's better. All right, guys, now I'm feeling kind of ambitious. So I have this trash can, and uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a wash tub bass, but it was a bass guitar people used to make. Well, they probably still do. Made out of a trash can, some string, and some sort of long stick, like a handle off a broom. Anyway, I'm game. Let's give it a whirl. I have two words to say right now. Parental consent. I love power tools. I cut a really long piece of twine and um, I threaded it through the two holes like that and I'm going to attach it with a square knot. This is a, this is a really good knot to use um, if you don't want something to come apart. So you take one side and you go over the other one. So I'm going right over left and then put it through as usual, right? Pull it tight. Now I'm taking that side which is now on this one and I'm going over the other one and through. Boom. That is not going to come off. Well, I totally lucked out. I had this handle that you can attach a paint roller to in my closet. Get out in there. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, ready? Check this out. Oh wait, let me see if I can play Seven Nation Army. Hold on. <laughs> I guess not. Well, I hope you have a little better luck than I did with your stringed instrument. <laughs> have fun.